Zero seconds. Stop recording. You find her. Image. Double tap and hold speech off. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about my new iPad Pro. We have a few different sections to this video today. We're going to first, in the first section, is going to be which iPad I received. The second section is going to be kind of like my first impressions. And then my last section is going to be, do I think it's worth it for you to buy what I have received? I, am, I was lucky enough through my um, state vocational rehabilitation agency, I'm quite blessed to have received an iPad Pro, um, the latest generation from 2021, an iPad Pro with the M1 processor, the 11 inch, and I got the Magic Keyboard, which you hear me typing away, and I got the 512 gigabyte model and they gave it to me in space gray which it comes in space gray and silver I believe yes um if I can't it comes in space gray and silver and I got the 512 gigabyte options um they the iPad pros come in 112 or 128 gigabytes Five hundred and something gigabyte options, one terabyte and two terabytes. And my first impressions of this device are that it's very fast and very speedy. The M1 chip has definitely been a major improvement. I loved this device beforehand. I thought it was a great device in general. Before I started using, um, I had the iPad Air for work. And overall, I thought it was a great device. Before I upgraded, I had no problems with the Air 4. Sometimes it was a little slow during video editing, but not really that bad, just a little slow, but the M1 can handle anything I throw at it with no issues, and it's just amazing as far as speed and things like that, and I love it. I like the keyboard a lot, and I like how it connects via the smart connector, which is the three dots on the back of the iPad, which allows things like the magic keyboard to connect automatically without you having to pair it. And I like this keyboard because it's nice. It has like a trackpad, but I definitely would have not been able to pay the $300 if I was buying this on my own. So I thank the Louisiana Rehabilitation Services for people with disabilities to or for getting this for me to make my work life a lot easier. Viewfinder, sure focus on viewfinder. Stop recording two minutes, 22 seconds. Yeah, very good. To make my life a lot easier for work. In the next few days, you will get a um, 
vlog from my school's graduation, even though I finished school back in February for massage therapy. They only do graduations a couple of times a year, and I want to do a video discussing the Mantis Q40, which is the Braille display I talked about yesterday, and comparing it to the Magic Keyboard, and discussing um, which one I like more and why. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just I love the iPad in general, and. I like that I have the versatility of having the magic keyboard. My only big the biggest complaint about it is that it only has the configuration to more be in like a laptop type situation, which is nice for when I'm working. But sometimes I just want to take the iPad off and hold it in like you know just normal tablet mode when I'm watching content. And you can't do that with the Magic Keyboard case. So I ordered another case that should be coming in the next day or two. That'll allow me to do that. And uh, the last section of this video, I'm gonna make sure we're recording. Stop recording video button, four minutes, 15 seconds. Yeah, is would I recommend this particular iPad for more people? for most people, if you have hung on this long. And if you have, thank you, because I know I ramble in some days. My brain takes a few minutes to get my thoughts organized. I should write scripts, but I don't. Thank you, anxiety. And everything, and my anxiety is at its peak, but that's another side rant. But, um, yeah, I would say which iPad you should get depends on your workflow. Um, I love my iPad Pro because I have enough storage to where I never have to worry about it or it'll be a long time before I have to worry about it because... I do video editing and video uploading and things like that. I never have to, I'll never have to worry about it for a really long time as far as running out of storage and different things like that. And with my 64 gig iPad Air, I was having to send stuff to my iPhone so I wouldn't run out of space. But now that's something I don't have to worry about with the iPad Air. I can just, I mean with the iPad Pro, it's something I don't have to worry about. I can just do everything on the iPad and not have to worry about it. And that's going to be nice. And I'm looking forward to it. But um, most people don't need the 512, I believe is what this storage is. I should have verified, but I believe that's what I have. And um, most people don't need that. And so most people would do fine with the iPad Air 5th generation, which also has the M1. Unless you're kind of like in my boat and you need the bigger storage option or you're like an artist or something and you care more about like the 120 hertz screen or you want to go with the 12.9 which I have the 11 inch or different things like that. Thank you for hanging in there with me through this. I will do like a month later review or a week later review. I haven't decided. It just depends on when some of my other content, which I have a therapy, um, my journey in therapy 
video I want to film. I know I said I was going to film it about a week ago. Um, I believe just my anxiety has been intense. So, due to some things going on in my life, um, that I'll do a life update soon as well. But, just my anxiety has been really tense in the past or since I filmed in the past few days since I filmed my update on medication video which you can find on my channel um so to film which I love being open for you guys as far as how my mental health is and this information about mental health but um being open in like a therapy journey video I have to be emotionally okay that day and I haven't been in the spot in the past few days to record that type of video um so I'm waiting until my anxiety isn't as bad which I'm okay just my anxiety has been higher than normal and I don't want to trigger my anxiety by trying to film a video like that so I'm waiting until my anxiety chills out before I try to record a video like that speech off speech on see y'all next in the next video which will be most likely the Mantis Q40 versus the iPad Magic Keyboard Zoom, one, button, zoom, button, non-mask, stop recording, viewfinder, focus, stop recording video.